Hey guys, how's it going? Zach here from Zach H Fishing. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a rundown, um, basically a bit of a 101, um, give you all my secrets on squid fishing, um, everything that I've done successfully in the past to make sure that I nail the squid every time. Um, where do we start? So the seasons um, that I would be targeting squid is, is autumn to winter. So between March and August, um, they definitely fire up and get thickened in the in the middle in the middle between the autumn and winter. I find the best, um, but you get them as early as February and and you know just just after August, where they really start to thin out. They get a lot harder to target. So you know when it's getting cold, when it when you fingers are freezing on the way out to the spot, you know you know they're going to be on. You know it's going to be the right time. Always. Um, always chasing that really clear water. So the I find the best time out in the bay when the water's the clearest is when you've got an incoming tide. All that all that fresh water from out in the ocean is coming in, it clears up the whole spot, it turns magic. That way you can see the bottom, um, even in six meters of water, you know. So we're fishing for squid we're normally fishing like two to six meters. Um, and you at, even at that five six meter mark, you saw you you want to be able to see the bottom. You want to be able to see the bottom. You want to be able to see the ground. You want that ground to be, you know, really patchy rocks, sand, reef, weed, everything. You want it all to be there. You want to be looking down, going, "Yep, this is the ground. This is where they're going to be." You know, you get that feeling. You get that vibe. You know they're on. You know they're going to be there. Then I set the drift. I'd start a drift. At the deep side, I'd go six meters, run your drift from six meters all the way in, generally to an island if you're in a boat, all the way in from six meters drift all the way in, all the way up to two meters, just adjust, adjusting your retrieve the whole time. So you're never, you're never connecting with the bottom, but you're always at the bottom. Um, and that's the best way. When you, and then when you, when you find the drift, move the drift every every drift. Move it ten meters. Move it ten meters. Move it ten meters. When you find the drift that's working, just set that drift again and again and again, and you'll just nail them. You'll get a whole bag in two hours. We did it multiple times this season. This year we just nailed them. We really nailed them. So, um, what we've been nailing them on is the Yamashita. So. That's a Yamashita there. Um, normally use this 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 one. It's a Yamashita two and a half in the pink, pinky orange. You can see it's been nailed. You can see it's, it's got a lot of use this season. It's really it's really done its job, you know. But um, it probably go in the bin. They'll get a new set for the next season, you know. The sh new sharper hooks, the whole deal, and you know it, it collects a bit of rust and that. So. One season, get a new one, 20 bucks, but you can use it for the whole season. You can, you can catch 60 squid on it, no dramas, you know. Um, the other one that I've only just started using this season, which has been, um, which I've been absolutely nailing them on, is the Daiwa. So, same, in a two and a half, Daiwa, in this orange or pink, they're, they're, they're feltless, there's no felt, it's just it's just a hard plastic, um, it's got this little reflector pad on it, and they look exactly like a prawn, like identical. And we're, we're, we're always working on the exact same. So basically when I get to a spot, um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll rig up. So I'm using six pound braid, normally to six pound liter, six to six. Seems to work the best. You don't lose as many knots, like you don't, you're not so slip or anything because it's, it's, it's the same size. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll just go beside the boat, just drop, drop a little down, you know, you're in six meters, you're not sure. If you're not sure, just, I always tell people, just drop the little straight down. As soon as it gets to the bottom, because it should be clear water, you should be able to see. As soon as it gets close to the bottom, just remember how many seconds that took. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when you set your drift, you're just casting out. You're in six meters, it takes six seconds. Cast out, count six seconds. Bounce her up. That's just a slow raise. And then wind, 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 wind. And then wait your six seconds. Slow raise, one, 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 one. Wait your six seconds, and then as you're drifting in, you get to five meters. You just change it to five seconds, four meters, four seconds. You just drop it back and back and back. So you never connect. 
you never connect with the bottom because you just get snagged. You want to be right at the bottom, bouncing up and then slowly drifting down. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll give you um, some locations at work around Brisbane where I live, which I've been nailing them on. So um, head out to Mud Island. Out at Mud Island, if you can find the ground, you'll find the squid. Same as at Green Island. And, you know, if you're land-based, all the way from Manly to Wynnum in that same bay area, all the way from Manly to Wynnum, the right time at the right tide, when the water's clear, it's full tide sort of thing, you're going to nail them even off the bank on that boardwalk. Walk the boardwalk too, you'll see squid marks. You'll see squid ink on the boardwalk. There's squid ink on the boardwalk, people have been catching squid. Have a flick, have a try. You don't know until you're out there having a crack. Um, you know, I went I went last week, which was really late in the season. Me and my brother tried pretty hard and we only got three, but we got three in about 30 seconds because when we catch one, you cast straight behind it, catch another one. They'll, they'll always be in a little group. Um, we were lucky enough that morning, we were just, we were out there just trying to get a few squid for some bait to try and get onto a big snapper and it didn't end up happening. That's why I haven't made a full video about it, but I will show you guys that clip of us getting the three squid now. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope this information was helpful and next season you can get out there and really nail them. Squid, squid. Good squid. Good squid. Oh, 100% bro. Can I you? Yeah, fucking oath. Straight behind it. Fucking hell, straight over you. Watch what? Did you get it out? It's nowhere near the fucking thing out. At least now we got bait too. You got two now, you fucking get squid in. Oh, decent squid, bro. Little ho oi, horsey, where's the net? <laughs> in the bag. In the bag? Yeah. Oh, he's not fucking getting up anyway. Yeah. You on too, bro? Yeah. Yes, the old fucking fish grab. Oh, you dickhead. Fucking wanker. Get the net. Nah, just grab him behind the head. Bro, well, my luck, can I fucking get <laughs> Bro, he just inked my whole boat. This wanker. I can grab him if you want. Bring him around this side and I'll just grab him behind the head. Quick, before he fucking gets off. Just bring him around this side, bro. Oh, yes! Bro! Yes! Wait, he's got one tentacle. Just bring him in. Yes, bro. Hey. Oh, <laughs> brand new jumper. It's not him. He's inked in the water. Just get back out, bro. That was close. <laughs> yeah. Just give that. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Madness, madness, full madness going on here.